depart from me. The saddest three words in the Bible. Depart from me. What a tragedy. Nothing ever sadder than that. The harsh words in Matthew 25, 41 again reiterated, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Oh, how sad it is that the final picture of judgment is a picture of sadness. The final picture of judgment in the Bible is a tragedy. As the unbelieving of all the ages are brought before God, Jesus Christ reiterates the condition for the kingdom to do the will of God. They cry out, those who have been held out, but we've done all this. And the judge speaks finally and says, but wait a minute, you're condemned because we never had a love relationship. Christianity is not a formality. Christianity, if you please, in the modern term, is not a religion. It is a personal love relationship with Jesus Christ. Do you have that love relationship? Do you know that same Christ? I close with this illustration. There was an actor at a drawing room function who was asked to recite, and he stood up and he wanted to be gracious to his audience, so he said, I'll I'll recite anything you'd like me to recite. And no one suggested anything, so an old preacher happened to be there. He was sitting in the back. I don't know how he got there. He probably crashed the party. Normally, preachers don't get invited to drawing room functions on a high society level, but he was there. And he stood up and he said, I'd like to hear you recite the 23rd Psalm. Well, the actor was a little shocked at that, but he'd he'd thrown himself open, so he had to do what the man asked him to do. He happened to know it, so he said, all right, I'll do that. So he repeated the 23rd Psalm with complete eloquence, masterfully interpreted it. Diction was beautiful. And when he was done, there was spontaneous applause throughout the entire room. And the actor, figuring he'd get back at the old gentleman, said, now, sir, I'd like to hear you recite it. The old gentleman hadn't bargained for that. But because of his love for Christ, he stood up and he repeated the 23rd Psalm. His voice cracked, it broke, it wasn't very beautiful. Interpretation wasn't really that good. When he got done, there was no applause, but there wasn't a dry eye in the room. The actor, sensing his own emotion, stood up and said, ladies and gentlemen, I reached your eyes and ears and he reached your heart. And he said, the difference is this, I know the Psalm, he knows the shepherd. 